Yo, what is up guys? My name is Minter and today we're taking a look at my dual PC streaming setup guide for gaming slash streaming. Here's a quick look at my specifications for my gaming PC and my stream PC. Feel free to pause the video to see this stuff in more detail. Make sure that the software you're about to see is installed before progressing with this video. Uh, feel free to pause the video as well to, uh, to get that done. So where'd you plug everything in? Here's a little image that I made. Uh, feel free to pause the video to see it in more detail. The key points here is that the monitor's mouse keyboard are plugged into the gaming PC. It's a gigabit LAN connection and uh, the router and the network cards on the PCs must support gigabit speed. So you're gonna be accessing your streaming PC through something called remote desktop connection. Uh, essentially, you wanna type in the name of your computer. For example, mine is called stream, I renamed it. Um, that will then allow you to, to sign into it using the, um, a, the, a user account that you've set up on it. Um, the key point is that the stream PC password on the account must, uh, it must have a password, otherwise it's not going to work. If it doesn't work, make sure you've enabled remote desktop connection. See description for the guide on how to do that. So NDI is uh, a method of being able to send uh, audio and visual uh, source, uh, basically traffic through your, through your network. We're not going to be doing the visual though, we're going to be using our capture card for that. Um, we're going to be focusing purely on the audio. Um, so make sure a scan converter is running on your gaming PC. Um, go to your system tray. You should see like a little blue, uh, the NDI scan logo. Um, right click audio source. Make sure audio source is set to system audio. And make sure webcam audio source is set to your microphone. Um, forget that it says webcam. That That is pretty much your microphone. That will then allow us to, um, when, we, when we come to add those sources to our streaming PC later on, it will allow you to separate the channels. So you'll have a system audio track and a, and a microphone audio track, which will allow you then to, mic uh, to mute your microphone, etc., when you when you want. Once you've done that, we're going to be opening up our streaming PC. You can see that I connected to my streaming PC via remote, remote desktop connection. I'm going to go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS. Once Streamlabs OBS is open, you want to add a new NDI source. You can do that by in the plus sign. NDI source and then locate um, the, the NDI source. I've already done that. So I've got one called microphone, one called system audio. I'll go into these settings and show you exactly how I configured them. So system audio, I uh, want to make sure that it's sent to your graphics card. You should see the name of your graphics card there. Uh, make sure it's the top one, so display one. You then want to set the bandwidth to be uh, audio only. So a very key point is audio. We're not capturing anything else here. We're not capturing the video. Make sure it's set to audio. And then the uh, sync is internal. Same on the microphone, with the exception of, of it being not being the graphics card. It's just the audio only capture at the very top. That is pretty much the webcam audio source we configured earlier. Uh, remember though, it's not your webcam, it's the microphone uh, that you've set up. Um, same settings, so audio only and internal sync. So the way we're capturing our gameplay is using uh, a, the HDMI uh, cable from our graphics card to our uh, capture card. Um, within your NVIDIA control panel on your gaming PC, you should see monitors and your capture card here. If you don't, make sure your capture card is seated correctly and that you've installed any drivers and follow the guidance from the manufacturer. Whilst you're here, make sure your resolution is all set to the native um, resolution and also make sure your refresh rates are set as well. Uh, for example, I've got a 204Hz monitor and my capture card is at 60Hz, so let's make sure that's all set correctly. On your gaming PC, you want to go ahead um, and open up Streamlabs OBS and add a new source. This is for capturing your gameplay. So you want to add a new gameplay source, um, set it to be uh, capture any full screen application, or if you prefer, a window. Um, you, you will know exactly what you want to set here. Um, the main thing is here is just adding the source. You also want to go ahead and add the alerts box. Um, the key point with the alert box, though, is that uh, you want to make sure that uh, you don't see it. So when, when you've added it, um, you're going to drag it off the screen. You don't want to be seeing that on your on your, on your your screen when it pops up. Otherwise, you're going to see it twice. Um, we're just, we just want the audio source. That's what we want. We just want the audio from the alert. Nothing more. We will be adding the alert box on our streaming PC, which is where the, uh, the alert will actually be shown. Once you've done that, you want to right click, click the, the gameplay scene. Click the create output projector. What you're doing here is you're going to be sending a, a essentially a preview of that uh, of the gameplay to your third monitor, which is your capture card. Um, so on your streaming PC, you want to go ahead and add a new video capture device, add your capture card, and what you should see is what you've just sent. So you've you've just sent the uh, the gameplay scene, um, a projected a projector of it to your third monitor, which is your capture card, which you just added as a source to your streaming PC. Um, you can then resize it to your scene, uh, as I'm doing here for my intermission screen, um, and that's and that's how you're capturing your gameplay. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you got some value and some information from this five, six minute video, and hopefully, it was worth your time. Thanks for, for clicking it. Um, special thanks to Dougie for giving me the uh, capture card. Without that, I couldn't have, I couldn't have done this. So, thank you. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, nights, wherever you are in the world. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys.